All right, so after having only one fight in Group A, we now move on to Group B here at Thai Fight League. 63 kilos. Remember, in Group A, we just witnessed Farlikit defeat Yodchak Pet in what was a thrilling fight. Now, in Group B, four fighters. Two fights to finish this week's Thai Fight League. There you can see Palangpon Sit Son Tep, 25 years of age, fighting out of Nakhon Sawan province here in Thailand. He stands at 181 centimeters and has a professional record of 75 fights with 58 victories, just 15 losses and two draws. And now introducing the fighter fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Swanapum Jamai Makri Muay Thai. His real name is Katapum Kyosom. He is from Nakhon Si Tamarat province in the south. 15 years of age, 167 centimeters tall. He's had a total of 41 fights, 35 victories, 5 losses and 1 draw. His previous match here on Thai Fight League, he lost by stoppage in the third round to Pet Seung Sang Wong Ryan Gira Korat. And his opponent here, he is a replacement. Yep, we had to take No Parat Muping Aloy Jung Boy out of the tournament because, well, he just wasn't fighting to the standards that we're looking for here on Thai Fight League. I think he went down, you know, without any real fight in the first round. And yep. it's just not something viewers at home and to be fair, we didn't want to see it again. Now this is a massive opportunity that you've been given here on Thai Fight League. And if you're, like Kevin said, not up to the standard or you're not appreciating the fight that we're giving you that opportunity, then we'll find someone else. It's that simple. That's right. He needs to go back to the provinces and work on it again because it's just not up to standard. But I'm curious to see if Palampon is up to standard. So far, so good for Palampon. Ten years the elder of his opponent. Good kick there from Sawana Poop. Palangpon though, yes. just stopping his opponent. Outside by kick there from Palangpon. Standing in the southpaw stance. Good team to the midsection. Sawana Poop, and again with that outside by kick. Yeah, Palangpon, the man from the front right to see by doing a good job early on. Northeast of Thailand taking on Southern Thailand this time. Good kick there once again for Palampon. Nice right hand coming in from Suwanabu. Oh! Oh! Swift level changes. Rublox beautifully timed up and good. Suwanabu is swarming all over Palampon right now trying to finish the fight. Left hook, right hand, another right hand sneaking through the guard of Palampon. I love what oh, we're seeing from this 15 year old. Oh, wow. But here comes Palampon. Huge left hand again from Suwanabu. Oh my goodness. Inside fight kick there for Palapon and a second. Looking for those elbow strikes. This goes to show that anything can happen in a Thai jump fight and anything can happen oh on Thai fight oh league. This is the sort of action you can only see. It's right here live every Sunday on Thai fight league. I hope no Parade is having a look at this right now because that could have been him in the ring. Just a reminder, that is not a foul. In boy time, but Gentleman's ground upon. Though, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it seems like Sawana Pope is able to carry on, thank goodness. Because if he wasn't, that, that would have been a stoppage victory for Palang Pona. We don't want to see him match this good in that way. Exactly. Low kick there by Palang Pona once again. Really targeting the legs of Sawana Pope. You know, as we keep saying, if someone who doesn't block those leg kicks, it will start to add up. I think it's already added up, if I'm quite honest, Aaron. Good section kick there. Smashing the arm of Sawana Bubby's Palampon. How do you score that one? Stay with us. Round two coming up here on Thai Fight League.
ฟีดแอคทีฟอินดอร์สปอร์ตเอนเตอร์เทนเมนต์ครบวงจรที่ไบเทคติดรถไฟฟ้าบางนา What an entertaining first round that was! It's the one of Boom, j a m a i m a k r i m o i t a i in the black corner, and his opponent p a l a n g p o n s i t s o t e n in the white. I mean, back and forth action is the best way to put it, because I don't know how to score this one at all. I mean, there's like huge barrages coming in from from t o a n a p o o m Really, a boxing combination from the young 15-year-old, and I'm just surprised by how p a l a n g p o n was able to stay on his feet. And not just that, he started to fight back eventually. We thought it was going to be it. And here you see some of the brilliance from p a l a n g p o n going for the low kicks. That that one, a bit too high. Yeah, everybody watching on the stream right now, I really want you to write in the comments who you think won that round. Was it s a w a n a b u m in the black corner or p a l a n g p o n in the white corner? Write in the chat, black or white. I mean, it was a very close round. I, I, I don't want to put my neck on the line. I think here. that p a l a n p o n in the white corner, he started well and he finished well, but that in the middle, it looked like so one of them was going to take him out. Yeah, I thought that would have been it, but frankly, not good kick there from s o n a p o n to kick things off, literally. You can see that p a l a n p o n he really is determined to go for those low kicks, and I can understand why. s w a n a p o n though catches him with the inside kick of his own, looking to Superman punch his way through. s o p a l a n p o n goes back to the legs of s w a n a p o n Just pulled in the slip there. Has to be said though, s w a n a p o n not doing a good job at all at blocking the low kicks. Not at all. Maybe he just thinks that with his age and with the size of those legs, that he can take as much damage as he. Effective. Got left hand there from p a l a n p o n once again, and again with that left hand and down goes to one of them. That was a counter left hand that he walked onto. Yeah, brilliant start to the round for p a l a n p o n That's exactly what he needs to do: change up the levels, start boxing, and go for the low kicks. And that's exactly oh, what he does. And that you is called out. it, Kevin. You called it. The accumulation oh, strikes of those low kicks have really taken his soul on to one of them. The first time we've seen him in pain, and the fight has to be stopped in the second round. And what a brilliant replacement for n o p o r a n b o b i g l o j u k b o y That could have been him up there. That could have been him. We didn't fight to the standards that we're looking for. h a l a n g p o n took his place, and fair to say, Aaron, he fought to the standards that we're looking for here on Thai Fight League. Let's have a look at the highlights from that second round. There was the left hand that h a l a n g p o n targeted perfectly, that knocked down s u w a n a p o n I think it was a, it was the strike itself, plus the fact that he didn't have the leg strength to stay on his feet. And then straight after the arm. Well, left hand, that one. Perfect design. And like I said, he walked onto it, and then the legs were open. p a l a p o n targeted that back leg, and so one of them, unable to continue, unable to stand, goes down, stays down, and right now he is still down on the canvas. Unfortunately, for the second time in Thai Fight League, so one of them will be leaving on a stretcher. It seems here at Thai Fight League. Let's get confirmation of the result. And the winner by technical knockout from white corner, Palangpon from the c o n r a d to Sima.